This is my Fire 10 HD from 2020. I got it for around $50. And I rarely used it until I found out about Fire Toolbox and I was able to dis disable the lock screen, the add lock screen, and change the launcher. But recently I reset some settings and it caused the lock screen to reappear again, which I thought was a great opportunity for me to um, finally upgrade the Fire OS to the latest version. It took me about an hour, an hour and a half because they don't just automatically upgrade you to the latest version. You have to go from one iteration to the next iteration to the next iteration. It's a long, lengthy process. So this is two main reasons why I don't like Fire OS. It's just a walking ad for Amazon. So first of all, the lock screen is always a new ad. So let's say you open your Fire tablet like 10 times. You've basically looked at 10 ads. And, you know, Amazon probably made 10 cents off of you. It, it starts adding up. The next thing is, once you get inside of Fire OS, it's another ad. So from the home button, they're trying to get you to, you know, buy their different products on Amazon. So here's this new item here or new items off your home screen. So I have to I say I'm not interested. It finally goes away. But then it comes back. It might go away. Watch this. I'll unlock it again. So it's finally gone, but it comes back after a few minutes. If I'm unlucky. So those are the two main reasons I'm not too keen on Fire OS because all this stuff for me doesn't really mean anything. I just need a home screen with my apps. Oh, the third thing is just the Amazon App Store is not that great. So you're able to, I think with uh, Fire Toolbox, you can still sideload Play Store, which will be a lot better than Amazon App Store. And so that's it. Those two main things bother me. Besides the third thing, not having the Play Store, because I have a bunch of apps I've purchased through the Play Store. But you can use Fire Toolbox for now to hopefully install a Play Store, but I'm not sure about the whole lock screen and turning off the updates.